Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full tutorial on this makeup look right here. I was really feeling browns today. Like browns was like in my radar today. I just wanted to use browns and this is what I came up with. Um, it all started off when I received the new Fenty Moroccan Spice palette. I fell in love with this shade Shoddy right here, which is what's on my lips. I wanted to work a look around the slip color. I think this is like my OG eye makeup look that I would always rock everywhere I went and I don't know, I haven't done it in a while. So I really like the way this came out. And what I love so much about this eye makeup look is that you can honestly wear any lip color with this. You can rock a red, an orange, a pink, a nude, a gloss. Like you can wear it with anything goes so well even this brown shade right here it's just a look that kind of can go with everything so yeah without further ado let's get this video started so for today's eye makeup i'm going to be using the fenty beauty moroccan spice eyeshadow palette this is their newest one that just launched i'm gonna go first in with that shade come and get it this is gonna go right in the outer corner of my eye it's gonna be pretty much the main shadow on my lid and then lightly start working my way up i have a lot of hair right now i gotta get my brows done please disregard and from the outer corner of my eye, I am gonna work my way all the way to the front of my eye. I wanna make sure this color really stands out. So now I'm gonna take this a little lower to really carve out my crease. See how it does that? See how it just kinda looks like there's two shades now? There's this shade out here and this one, it's the same shade, it's deepened up right in this area. So now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Saffron and I'm gonna be applying this pretty much directly over that shadow that I applied. I just want to warm up the shade a little more. All right, I'm now gonna go in with my P. Louise Shadow Base and this Smoked MAC 242 brush, and I'm pretty much just gonna add this to my lid. I'm not gonna cut the crease, but I kind of am. It's gonna be a very blended cut crease. So I'm gonna tap this right onto the lid where I normally would cut it at. And then now with a flat shading brush, I'm just gonna buff it out, and I'm just gonna buff it into what I already applied on. Don't worry about making it so perfect. This isn't going to be a cut crease. You don't need to carve it out. Just really make sure that you really blend it out though. I'm going to add a little more right to this area. And then once again, I'm just going to blend it out. I'm now going to add Come and Get It right over the area where I just apply the shadow base. You want to make sure that it looks seamless and that there's no demarcation of where it stopped. You know, like when there's an ombre, think of an ombre effect. Gradually fades together. I'm gonna go in next with the shade Moroccan Ice, and this is gonna be applied right onto my lid. This is probably like one of my favorite shades in this palette. So many dimensions and different types of undertones happening. It's not just like your typical metallic white eyeshadow. There's just a lot of dimension to it. Now I'm going in with the shade Mirage, and I'm gonna be tapping this over Moroccan Ice and over Come and Get It, just like right in the center, just to kind of blend the shades together. I know you guys probably can't see a big difference, but I can. It looks a little more, it's more vibrant in person, I promise. I'm now going in with the Dose Colors Cream Matte Eyeliner in the shade Shady, and I'm gonna be creating a super fierce wing liner with this kind of makeup look. I feel like wing liner is a must. It just really completes the look. And I'm taking this in with a MAC 210 Eyeliner Brush. This is honestly the best brush for any kind of gel liners you really have control of how thick the liner is going to go and i feel like you can really create any wing with it so what i like to do is first start on the outer corner of the eye and just slightly start building up this part first and then that way i know not to go thicker than that once i get to the desired thickness that i want of this eyeliner and then now i'm just going to go ahead and work my way towards the inner part of the eye and just start pressing it first on against the lash line you can see i'm not dragging the brush i'm just really lightly pressing so one of the reasons why I really like this brush in particular is because it is so firm. I've tried many different brushes similar to this from different brands, and they're always very flimsy. So this one, I don't know, it's very stiff. I think it's just made so so good, the quality is so good on this, that it's stiff. It literally does not move around like the other similar brushes I've tried in the past. All right, and then now we are going to wing away. So for me, I personally like to go right on the outer part of my eye, kind of right there, I like kind of connect it underneath. Personally for me, I like to pull it up a little higher. I feel like it gives my eyes like this like very fierce, like I just got a facelift around my eye area. Hella Botox, you know? Gives that illusion and that's kind of the look I want. So from there, let me move my lashes because they get in the way. So from there now I will connect the bottom part and this part together. And then now I will start to kind of pull it up and wing them together. And fill it in. 
Next, I'm taking in this Maybelline Falsies Mascara. And of course, you guys know I love, ah, I love doing my mascara before I put on any kind of false lashes, mainly because I reuse my lashes and I really like to get the most out of them. So if I put mascara over them, I feel like it dries them up. I've never had a good experience from putting mascara on my lash, on my falsies. So it's better to just do it this way first. And of course, I'm going in with my favorite lashes from Lily Lashes. These are in the style Miami. Like, look at the close up on. Like, just look at how gorgeous these lashes are. So wispy, yet so dramatic. Wow, I really appreciate these lashes more than they know. I wonder if there's ever gonna be a time in life where I'm just not gonna want no lashes anymore. Like, I'm just gonna be okay with no lashes. Until then, I'm gonna rock my favorite lash as much as I can. All right, now that we zoomed out, you guys can see my hair, how it looks right now. Pretty awesome, right? Uh, we're gonna fix this a little later, so do not mind it. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize and prime my skin. So I'm gonna be using today the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel um, for my moisturizer. I've been loving this one so much. Wow, I look like a Doña Maria right now. Especially with these earrings and the hair like this. And as of every look, I always make sure to really hydrate the skin. I'm gonna tap some eye cream on first before I move on to, onto the primer. I really feel like I haven't done like a brown glam in a while. All right, so next we're gonna go in with the Aborion Extra Matte Primer. This is a ultra mattifying primer, shine control. So I had a chance to try this when I was in Jamaica. And if you guys have ever been to Jamaica during this time, it is so humid, like extremely humid. And I wore it with like full makeup on and I for sure thought my makeup was gonna be completely gone. And when I went back to my room, it was like perfectly still there. It's like I was sweating and the sweat would stop right there and then just like, drip somewhere else, it would knock it on my face. It was awesome. And I love that it feels very comfortable when it's on. It's not like thick. It doesn't feel like it weighs down the skin. So that's good. I'm gonna take in my Beauty Blender and the Born This Way Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. By the way, congratulations to Jackie and Too Faced on this awesome partnership. She teamed up with Too Faced to extend their shade range and really get the perfect color for anyone. Um, and I found actually three colors that matched me perfectly, one for like off season, one for right now, for when I'm tan. So right now I'm gonna use Golden Beige. Off season just means like I'm hibernating in my home. It's winter, I'm not going outside, I'm not catching any sun. I like to have a little bit of color to my skin. So this one's gonna be probably like a shade too darker but it's totally fine with me. So not only is this foundation going to cover up freckles, any kind of blemishes, and really just even out my skin tone, but it's really going to correct the red. I do get red underneath still. Um, so as you can see, the redness is completely gone that I had earlier. I'm gonna press this right into this area. I don't like to do too much foundation up here, but I got this like, crazy breakout that happened over here and it like just does not wanna go away. All right, next I'm gonna be going in with another Too Faced product and this is their newest concealer, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So you can conceal, contour, and highlight with these concealers. These are a super coverage, meaning you're gonna get a full, full coverage out of it. They are hydrating and they are creaseless as well. So I'm gonna be using today the shade All Men and I'm gonna actually I'm be applying this Take this a little closer on my nose. And then of course, down the bridge, give it a little bit of a highlight on the chin area, get right there. And then around the nose, I always like to brighten this area up. So I'm not gonna go in like Beauty Blender, I'm gonna pounce the product into the skin. Really like to make sure that you push it into there versus blunt buffing it out with the brush. I feel like when you buff it out, you're gonna get a lighter coverage, which is totally fine if that's what you want. But because we, because I want that super coverage, I really want brightening, I want a little bit of everything, I'm going to press. Oh yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna grab my concealer brush and I'm just going to go as close as I can to the wing liner. I'm now gonna go in with the butterscotch shade. I'm gonna roll it onto the back of my hand, just like that. And I'm gonna be applying this kind of like my bronzer contour today. So I'm gonna take this right along my hairline. I feel like this is where, I don't wanna say I'm receding, but I definitely, I'm just gonna blend this out, just kind of into what we just did. Wow. By the way, this looks really good. I love it. So let's go ahead and set the skin. I'm gonna use today the Hourglass Setting Powder as an all-over powder to set. I'm gonna take this in with a large brush and pretty much just gonna tap this onto the skin to set everything in. 
And now I'm taking in this Laura Mercier bronzer to warm my skin up and bronze me up. I love how they're, I love how you can see her signature in this. So I'm gonna actually just kind of go over where I contour. Like I'm gonna focus this right here. Ooh, chisel, that's your bronzer. Ooh, this is a good bronzer. At first I'm actually trying this one and I really like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Derma Blend translucent powder to bake underneath of my eyes. This one just truly brightens underneath. Doesn't give me any flashbacks. It doesn't settle into any of the lines. It's just so perfect. Other ones I've tried, I like them, but I feel like they're not bright enough. I like, I need the brightness. I want the brightness. So I feel like this one just does it and makes it look so good. I can't explain it. I'm just gonna press this into the area. I don't really like to go too far out with it. When I first learned how to bake, Probably even like up until like a month ago, I would go all the way up to here like a crazy ass. But now I'm like, no, we just need it right here. We just need to set and brighten this area up. So this is when I like to go ahead and finish off my under eyes, mainly because we're baking. So we have a little time to kill, but in case any of the shadow falls off, it's gonna fall into the baking. When you dust and pat it into the skin, it's gonna, you know, fly away. I'm gonna go back in with Come and Get It. This is gonna be the main color underneath of the eyes. And then from there, I'm gonna add a little, a couple extra shades in here. I like to start right in the center of the eye with any kind of flat shader brush. I like to press and then lightly start blending it out. I'm now gonna go in with this shade Hennessy. So this is like a matte brown shade. I'm gonna be adding this directly over Come and Get It, but mainly on the outer corner of the eye. All right, and then now I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Brownie Eyeliner to finish off my waterline. Normally for a look like this, I do like going in with the black eyeliner instead, but we are gonna be wearing a darker lip today, so I don't wanna have too much dark on the eye and lip. I feel like this brown is just enough. Start dusting off some of the translucent powder. Instead of like fully dusting it off, I actually like to dust and press into the skin. I don't wanna take everything off, you know? Just dusting off the excess powder. So press it into the skin and then shoop. I'm gonna go in now with my setting spray and just set my skin. Last part of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Falsies Mascara to finish off those lower lashes. I think that's like the one thing I can, I have to always put on is lower lash mascara when doing any kind of eyeshadow. And honestly, this is gonna be a shocker to you guys. We're gonna be adding just a little bit of highlighter today. We're not going hella hard with highlight today. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Nomi highlighter. And again, as I said, we're just gonna be adding this like in very small areas. I really don't want a lot today just because I feel like, I mean, that's just what I'm saying right now, but we might add more. But anyways, let's, let's just see how this looks. Adding it to my nose area. I feel like this is like, always need a little bit right there. And then just like a tad bit, you know? So the last and final product is going to be the lips and we're gonna be working with some new shades today. So the first one is this lipstick called Shoddy from Fenty Beauty. I thought it was so pretty. It's a little bit more of a red brown, but I think it's gonna complement the eye makeup so well. It's gonna go good with the earrings. The whole brown vibe I was going for. So I'm gonna go first in and line my lips with my lip liner. And I'm using today the KKW Beauty Nude Number no. Three Lip Liner. And I'm now gonna take it in on the sides a little bit as well. And I'm now going in with that Fenty Beauty lipstick in the shade Shoddy. Alrighty, we're all done with this makeup. I'm gonna spray my skin one more time for good luck. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair really quickly and I'll be right back. And we're back, all nada, looking all fresh. By the way, I did do a video on this hairstyle, so if you guys wanna know how to achieve my sleek low buns, be sure to check that video out. It's super easy and it's a perfect look for anyone who's on the go. It goes with any outfit any makeup, I promise. And as always, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are loving this look. If you are, be sure to also give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you guys are enjoying videos like this. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.